Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Taurus, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, my friends, we are starting here with the King of Pentacles. Look at this. What a beautiful position to be in. I feel for some of you, you're feeling very grounded, very stable in your life right now. But I feel you have the bigger picture in mind. And this is the King of Pentacles. This is a place of power, of financial freedom, of security and stability. And this is where you're headed, my friends. How exciting and how powerful. We are getting the Nine of Cups. This is a place of happiness, of true joy, of emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. This is your happily ever after here, Taurus. So what is this place for you? Oh my goodness, this is such a beautiful spread here. And we've got the King of Swords. Look at this powerful energy here, Tauruses, I feel for you. You're a very powerful human being. I feel a lot of the... Uh, powerful multimillionaires in the universe or in this world sorry are Tauruses they're Scorpios they're um what else are they here uh Leos as well so oh my goodness this is a, a powerhouse spread to hear my friends so I feel for some of you Tauruses this bigger picture is in mind and I feel for a lot of you right now you're in this place of really shifting your life you're looking at that long-term view, right? You're wanting that luxury, that abundance that the universe has offered to every single one of us human beings on this earth, and it's up to us to get here. And I feel you're ready for that ride, and you're ready to really take life seriously. I feel for some of you, you've gone through some rough patches, you've gone through some difficult experiences, and you're ready to really sit in the driver's seat of your own life and take charge of it. And what a powerful feeling that is, my friends. I feel now is a time to really discipline yourselves, get your into a routine and start making positive adjustments in your life okay um, investing I feel a lot of you that are in a really good position you're investing there's some investments that are going to be made now in the next little while here for some of you that are going to pay off in a big way here finances are going to start increasing for a lot of you you're going to see growth in a lot of areas of your life and this is all because you're starting to incorporate good things into your life this is a positive mindset it's an abundance mindset I feel for some of you are getting rid of the things that no longer serve your higher purpose you're starting to wake up to some of the things that are keeping you kind of tied down and for some of you this has come through a, a difficult situation where you had to go through something very difficult in order to wake up and see the reality of your situation and why you're in the place that you're in and how that needs to change and because of that you're starting to make those changes in your life I feel also for some of you Tauruses maybe you ran into some sort of a health issue which has woken you up to really focus in on taking care of yourself. So I feel this is also health related for some of you where you're going to start improving your health because something has happened in your life or in someone else's life where you have seen and now you're kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm coming to an age where I need to start thinking about my well-being. And, you know, it starts with you and your temple here. You have to be in a really good place in order to create this abundance in your life. You have to take care of your temple here, my friends. And I feel the minute that you start making those changes in your life, those healthy, good changes, you're going to start seeing that abundance trickle in. I also feel for some of you that are in a position Position where you're working right now you're not happy it's a toxic environment or you're just not satisfied in the position that you're in and you've been thinking for a long time that you know what my life needs to change I need to find something different or I need to do something for myself I feel you're going to take that leap of faith you're going to take that big risk and you're going to actually start uh, following your dreams you're going to start chasing your dreams and I feel this is coming in because again I'm getting this like realization and maybe this has to do with the king of swords right this is that abundance mindset maybe you saw something online where or maybe you've been following someone for a little while where they're trying to teach you or train you to do things a certain way in order to create abundance in your life so because because of that, I feel some of you are switching things up. 
Okay, so know that true abundance is in your cards here, my friends. You are very powerful human beings. You are creators. So co-create with the universe here, Tauruses. I feel that you are meant for something bigger. So, you know, if you're wanting to create a podcast, start a YouTube channel, invest in something. If you're wanting to start a business, whatever this is in any area of your life, now is the time to start. Now is the time to focus on that bigger picture, that goal, and have clarity around it. With that clarity is going to come the success here, my friends. You can't be this way and that way. You have to have a clear vision of where you're going. And as soon as you have that clear vision here, Taurus, the universe is able to assist you tenfold. I know this because I've experienced this in my life. I feel that, you know, I've had turbulent energy. I've had some massive struggles in my life, but I feel I have overcome them all. I'm not afraid of challenges. If there's anything that I have to face, I take it head on. I'm like, okay, universe, bring it. Let's do this. So you can't be afraid of challenges. Remember, the king is not afraid of challenges. This guy's like, bring it. All right. This guy is strong, brave, courageous. And that's the energy that you have to kind of tap into within yourself here, Taurus says, especially if you're somebody that is seeking that change and it's not coming to you. It's because you have to tap into that inner strength and actually create that change for yourself. Okay, so own that power, my friends. You have it in you. You know you do. Co-create with the universe the life that you desire. And, you know, I hear all the time people saying, even commenting on my channel, like, you know, but I'm going through this, but I'm going through that. That's where the problem is. It's because you're focusing on all the things that aren't working out rather than focusing on the now and what you can do in order to create the abundance rather than focusing and on the past and all the things that didn't work out. So it's all about shifting your mindset here as well. I feel also some of you are going to, um, Feel emotionally satisfied and fulfilled in your lives. You're going to create this for yourselves here, Taurus. This is a powerhouse energy. My friends, I feel for you, you are going to make some connections. There's going to be a lot of networking happening in your lives as well. And everything that you work towards, you're going to see the re results of that, the rewards of your hard work and effort. And I feel now is a time to really put yourself into a system that is going to work for you in order to gain that success and fulfillment in your life. And, you know, this powerful energy here, it is just ridiculous. Um, with this card, the Nine of Cups, know that there are good co things coming into your lives here. You're going to have all the pleasures that you have been seeking here, my beautiful Taurus friends. Know that that stability that you are seeking, that grounding, that place, that security, all of it's going to come to you. And I feel that you work really hard here, Taurus. I feel a lot of you are working towards that. And those of you that haven't found that fulfillment or satisfaction or you're in this place where you're just not feeling good, and some of you might be already making really good money, but you're just feeling not fulfilled in the place that you're in. It's time to do something that you're passionate about, something that you love and enjoy. And you have the experience, you have all the tools necessary in order to create this happiness in your world. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Um, what else is coming through here? I feel for some of you Tauruses, maybe there is a wish that you have been kind of wanting, a wish you've been wishing upon the stars. There's something that is, I'm feeling there's this energy in the background here of some of you praying for something to happen or wanting to manifest something. And I feel this wish is going to be met very soon. Okay. So know that this, this is coming through all the good things that you have been wanting in your life are going to tr start trickling in. And it's because it's you doing and making the changes in your life, getting into motion, getting into the driver's seat of your own life and taking charge. This is where I'm seeing this and you have it within you. Use that bull energy, my friends, and go full force. Don't let anything stop you from your dreams here, my friends. I feel that that positive mindset, that place where you can come to where you can really visualize your goals is going to help you in a big way big, big way here, having that clarity and really understanding the reality of how to play this game of life. Those of you that want to pick up that Think and, Great, Think and Grow Rich book, it's in, I think I have it in my description box below, but this book by Napoleon Hill has helped me big time. I read the first few chapters and immediately the light went off in my head and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never even 
So I've got a vision board on my computer now. I've got all the things that I want to happen in my life written down, just like in that book, and it's all starting to happen. I already had one wish fulfilled, which I didn't think would happen. And I'm going to let you know here. Um, I know a few people that use a technique to manifest wishes in their life. And, you know, I have somebody that I know that took a picture of a car that they wanted, a Corvette, a brand new Corvette. It's an expensive car. But this person took a picture of themselves. They went to the car dealership, took a picture of themselves with this car, sat in it, took a picture of it, put it on their phone. They're like, I'm going to get this car. This is going to be in my driveway. And worked, hustled. They had that vision there in their in their phone like okay i'm gonna get this i gotta do this i gotta work do this all of this had that picture in their mind and really focused on that and got that car within six months can you believe that this is ridiculous how manifesting works here my friends and i've used this for myself in many 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 ways i've manifested my husband i manifest everything in my life and it's all about having that clarity having that vision and what is it what kind of efforts are you willing to put to get to, to get that manifestation, right? Like how badly do you want it here, Taurus? How badly do you want to be in this place of the king of pentacles? You really have to want it. Like you have to actually care about this place. And that, that emotion has to be tied to that place as well. Not only just the thinking, but the emotion has to be there as well. So you have to have that vision. You have to have that emotion tied to it. You have to care enough about it that you're willing to make a difference and changes in your life to get to that place. So how seriously do you want to be in this place of the King of Pentacles, wanting that financial freedom, that independence, that freedom in all areas of your life, that balance, that harmony, that emotional fulfillment and satisfaction. It's time to get to work. It's time to hustle here, Taurus says. So know that it's within reach here, my friends. You are going to gain that place of abundance. You are going to have all your wishes met. I feel those wishes are coming in. So if you can visualize it, if you can see it, if you can feel it, if you can just put yourself in that place in this present moment, Right? It's like astral projection, putting yourself in that place of the King of Pentacles, of the, t of the Nine of Cups. Feeling it and seeing it, really caring about being there and then taking action towards it. I feel sometimes on the internet, it lets you know that there's there's wrong, a lot of wrong information on the internet. You know, manifesting something and waiting for it to come in and not putting any work towards it. It doesn't work like that. You have to actually get into motion and act towards it. You have to move towards it in order for the universe to bring it to you. So you have to get into motion here, my friends. Know that all your dreams are possible. I feel for a lot of you this time next year, you're going to comment on my uh, YouTube channel or one of my videos and say, look at what I've done. Look at where I've, I've come to in my life. So I'm telling you, your dreams are within reach, my friends. So chase after them. I'm now going to pull an angel spirit card for you. Some of you have been seeing signs from the universe. And this can come in animal form. And you know, the other day I had a squirrel on my windowsill. And it was like, you know, jibber jabbering something to me. And I don't speak squirrel, so I had no idea what it was saying. But I searched it up and, you know, looking up the spiritual meanings on Google for your uh, animals that you see, you'll understand what the, the message is that's coming through. So you're getting raccoon, inventor. Look at this. You're going to invent your world here, Taurus. So if you've seen a raccoon race recently, this is your confirmation. And those of you that haven't seen a raccoon, you're seeing one right now on your, on your screen here. Let me read this to you. Decide on what you really want, Taurus. You have the ingenuity to claim it. I was having trouble saying this word earlier. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. Integrity is huge, my friends. You have many roles and can juggle them well. This is your superpower. Use the energy of the raccoon here, my friends. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel card for you and see what message we get through this. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get here for you. Ten, I am ingenious. So if you've been seeing one zeros everywhere, or you've been seeing the number ten, signs, symbols of tens on your cell phone, ten, ten, right? This is your confirmation. So let me read this to you. 
You have great leadership skills, Taurus. Your mind is sharp and and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. That's king energy. That's what the king does. So tap into this energy, my friends, because you, my friends, are powerhouses. All right. So this is your reading. I hope it resonates. If it does, please comment below. Hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.